loaded right now. We're not running the pump at this at this at this stage. We have our supply lines. Remember the ball valve we, we talked about? Make sure that they're open. They are open, so now when we turn the machine on, we should get material from our drums to our proportion. This has been set here jogging, recirculate. We also want to make sure that we have air turned on to our, to our transfer pump. And if we start pumping and our transfer pump is not turned on, what's going to happen? We're going to cavitate. Exactly. Any questions so far? Done? Okay, right quick, just a little bit of troubleshooting. We always want to make sure these connections are good and tight. Make sure that they're working. Here is for our hose seat. If we ever have any problem with our hose seat, we can disconnect our wires coming out from our, from our, propor our proportioner. Use our voltmeter, ohm meter test their continuity of their hose. Ensure that we the problem isn't inside of our hose sections. If we test here with the ohm meter and we have no continuity, we have a problem, our problem area is somewhere in our hose assembly. Once we verify our problem is inside of our hose assembly, now we can go down each 50 foot section of hose, break open the connections on the hose heat side and start checking for continuity in each 50 foot section. Once we find that, that section of hose that's giving us the problem, now we know we need to take that section of hose out of the loop, we need to replace it. Or if we have enough hose already, we can reconnect and hook back up and we should have hose heat. Just a simple way of testing that loop that electrical, that electrical, electrical connection in that hose. Remember I showed you on some of the class for testing the wheel. Oh, with the hoses, we have these undone. Do you have any new hose? We may, we may show you that later. You can take these take one of these wires out, connect them to the other side so it loops around. That way we're going to have to drag one end of the hose over to the other and we can loop it around. We can do all, all our testing on one end of the hose. Maybe have to bring the far end of the hose over to the middle to test it from that way. So just a simple way, minor electrical trouble, trouble shooting, both meter and ohm meters.